Hey fam, what's up? This is Robert Anton, robertanton.com. So you want to be a singer? Why you want to do that? <laughs> okay, so I'm coming to you again with uh, So You Want to Be a Singer. I hope you have been enjoying the last, I think I'm up to about 50 of them. Um, they're all in my So You Want to Be a Singer playlist if you want to go back and check out many of them. Um, today I want to talk about Be Resourceful. Be Resourceful. And what does that mean? Well, let me tell you. Someone, uh, a good friend of mine who is getting into performing called, uh, I guess wrote me or whatever and was like, you got to call me because I got a question for you, blah, 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 and the other. So uh, I called and we were talking on the phone. They were asking me some questions. And I guess there's a young lady who has garnered some interest um, through a producer or something like that. And, and so he called me because he wanted to find out, like, um, she needs to do a demo, basically. And he was asking me questions and stuff like that. And so at one point we were talking and he was like, I, I, but the young lady is not in New York. Okay. And um, so I was like, well, why doesn't she find some people in, in, you know, her city and blessed and other? He was like, well, you know, people there aren't dependable and blessed and the other. And, you know, and I was like, something's not right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It just didn't sound right. And so I'm like, okay. So I asked a few more questions and all that. And. Then I went off the deep end, to tell you the truth. I just got upset, and, and I don't know why. And, and not like personally upset, but I got um, passionate. Passionate would be the, the, the thing. And what I was basically saying to him was like, listen, this young lady has a wonderful talent. You believe in her. You know, her church believes in her. You know, uh, she's been on recording with her church or whatever. And this guy actually likes her voice from a recording made with the church. You know, that I guess wasn't the best recording. And he said that maybe they should make a better one for her and submit it to him. So, um, she has not, well, I guess she was working with somebody and that person is busy right now, so she hasn't found anyone else to help her realize this demo. Okay, now, I'm trying to lay it all out here so that you'll understand what's going on. Um, and, and I'm having a hard time keep it up. <laughs> so, she can't get this done for whatever reason in her city. She's asked about people in my city. And, and I, okay, so I was like, so what's the problem? And this is how I feel, okay, for one. Sometimes you're offered a test, basically. You know, there are so many talented people there, out there. There are so many great people. There are so many um, people who, like, would open their mouth and just blow the place up. That when someone is interested... That, that's the first line, that you did get somebody interested. But once you get somebody interested, then you got to produce. And you got to produce come hell or high water. When someone says, I need a demo, all that needs to be said is done. <laughs> and it needs to get done. And quickly. Because um, if you can't do a simple thing as get a basic clean demo, dem, demo done, then how are you going to be able to do all the things that you need to do in order to become a major recording artist? Nobody wants to pull you and push you and pull your teeth and, 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 and kick your butt every single day to get you to do something. They want somebody who's going to be a go-getter and they're going to go and get it themselves. At least the materials that someone needs like if you have an agent or something or if a manager is interested they want to make sure that you can come up with the materials almost immediately that they need in order to push you and if you can't then there's no reason to work with you because listen I can't sit around and wait for two years for you to get a demo together and I've been interested in you because if I say give you to somebody who is even more in the in the stream like say let's let's just say Clive Davis and he says okay well, let's record this woman and get her going and all of a sudden you can't do what you need to do no no that does that just doesn't work it just doesn't happen you have to be resourceful you have to be able to get out there and and find what you need to find almost immediately now uh, one thing I said to him is I said this lady grew up in this town and she can't find one musician who can play for her at a studio. Not one. She goes to church, okay, 
there's a church full of people, and I'm sure a lot of them play. You know, she's in a choir, and everybody in the choir probably knows ten musicians. Yeah, so, so why can't she find anyone? Okay, be resourceful, people. Um, it, it just, it's, it's upsetting to someone when you can't produce a picture and a resume and an mp3 of your performance. I can't do anything with you. If I have a connection and, and, and they're looking for people and you can't produce that for me, then I can't forward your information on to them. So, so, so what do you want from me? You know? Um, <laughs> and he wanted me to give him um, some referrals to some people that she could use. And the first thing I thought is, well, I, I, I don't think I can do that because you're going to call them and then you're not going to be able to come through. You're going to use my name. I, no, I know that that's not going to work. You know, um, you need to find a studio and then have the person who has the studio. They probably play for themselves or they have somebody who they work with who they can call immediately to play. And then it'll be no problem. So, so you, you have to get around these things. I, one more thing. I, I'm kind of running out of time here. I'm trying to start timing myself so that I don't go over. Um, but anyway, many people have written to me and said, oh, can you write a song for me? And I'm like, yeah, maybe. But my first line and the first thing that I do is say, why don't you listen to my songs, make a recording and send it to me. Um, and let's see how it comes out. After that comes out fine, then, you know, I'll talk about writing something for you. And to this day, not one person, I mean, at least five dozen people have written me seriously to write for them. Five dozen. Not one person has come back with a demo cover of one of my songs. Those people aren't dependable. Why am I going to put all of my time and my energy into writing a special song for you? Unless you're paying, of course. Now, if you're paying, <laughs> then we could talk. But you're talking about me donating my time <laughs> to write for you, and you're not willing to come up with a demo for me. Then th there's nothing I can do for you, because more than likely, I'm going to start writing for you, and you're not going to do anything with it. Or you're not even going to go into the studio to record it. You know, there, there's no reason for me to do it. Unless, of course, you are paying my price to write it. Then that's a different thing. <laughs> but none of them have offered any money either. So, hey, be resourceful, people. Find what you need to find and do what you need to do. And when somebody asks you, if you've got somebody who's connected, who's interested enough in you, to help you get to the next level, then you need to immediately be able to give them what they need in order to push you. Because if you can't give them the materials, then you've missed an opportunity. And that opportunity may never come around again. Okay, have you gone through this with anybody? If you have, please comment. Um, are you someone who finds it hard to get things together and you want to know how? Uh, Comment. Let me know um, what's going on with you. All right. This is Robert. RobertAnton.com. Check out my website and my music. <laughs> I'm sorry for the rant, but this just drove me crazy. Later. <laughs>